Hey boys, it's me, your dad. Uh, I'm getting kind of, uh, kind of boiled up. Of just, it happens a lot. And I never took this approach. Whenever I, I started talking to you guys and do these videos, I feel so much better. And I never did that approach, so I'm doing it now. And talk about it, because... You guys always bring me peace and happiness, so uh, I'm doing DoorDash right now, picking up an order <laughs> right here in Hewitt. Uh, it's Monday, April 29th, 2024, and um, yeah, just almost every day, boys, of me missing you guys come up, and it just, it like, shakes my mind feels I feel like I'm gonna explode of like I have to see you I have to see you and and not to be gross but it's true like I want to kiss your mother I I have it when you guys get older again I'm saying this with respect because when you get older you understand this as husbands but hold on uh Tressa yeah thank you but uh thanks so much you as well Bye -bye. and um when you put all your sexual being into one person like I done your mother it, it messes with you because there's no limits of loving your mother sexually like I hug or I, you know, we don't do anything like perverted, it's very sensual, it's very, very pure. And I miss that so much. And that drives me crazy. But I'm okay if that drives me crazy because it's my wife. You know, I, I normally don't control it as much because it's beautiful. And I have to get gold because uh, I have to turn it off so I can get the map um, for the DoorDash. But um, even right now, I feel a little better talking about it. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, like all of it just comes to me. And I don't know when or how it's going to come. But talking to you boys really helps. Uh, love you boys. I always think of you boys. I don't think I have no lessons right now. I haven't even looked on my on the app of all the list of hundreds of lessons. So I just wanted to talk out loud to you boys here. And uh, I feel better already. So thank you for listening. So uh, and continue doing DoorDash. I signed the papers for, excuse me, for Raina Clothier right down the street from me. I'm on Hewitt Drive here. And I'm excited. I'm excited about getting things done. Start selling suits and providing for my family. So I'm excited. So I'll talk to you boys in a little bit. Bye. Hey boys, it's me again. Your dad. And uh, continue doing DoorDash. Getting a little darker. It's about 9, 15. And I'm going to Dollar General for another DoorDash. I'm going to try to stay till until what 10 no until 12 so for I'm just thinking ahead for Raina Clothier once I get that going um, I want the business to start open from 8 to 3 and then I'll go do DoorDash from 3 to 12 I might do till 8 to 4 it just depends because I want to do the extra hour so, um, because I'm going to start calling people, I'm going to start reaching out to people, I'm going to start doing a lot here in Waco, I'm so excited. And I'm going to call on people outside of Waco as well, but I want to focus on here first, get your community first. And that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to have like flyers, I have a lot of different things going on, so uh, have that set up. And I want to see, I never did at Hewitt at till 12 of DoorDash. So we'll, let's see if it works. Uh, am I recording this? Yeah, I am. 
and uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of thoughts. So cause I don't want to put DoorDash throughout the day as much because I want to focus on the business. I've always done it many years where I always put too much emphasis on DoorDash because I was always scared. Like, man, I might, I might not have enough money or I might not have enough. I got to have the attitude as, fuck them. I'm going all in now. I got nothing to lose. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to take that step. Turn left. Is this Spring Valley? We will find out. I think it is. Yeah. There's Spring Valley, then there's Sun Valley. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I'm on the right one. And, man, boys, I'm all for it. I can't wait. I'm going to talk about my business. I'm going to talk about everything. You guys are always going to be in my head of doing this for you guys. So we can have this empire. We can have this this empire of business. I'm thinking so much now what we can do. And each one of you boys are going to start your own business. There's this comedian that I saw, I listened to. And this is an Italian guy. And I forgot his name, but he was in the movie The Irishman. Uh, he was one of the guys that got shot and killed. And uh, But he's a funny comedian. And uh, he was like, I don't know about kids these days. He was like, when I was younger, my dad would come into the bedroom or come into the living room. He said, hey, why don't you get up from the living room? Go start a business. <laughs> it was funny. Said, yeah, just go start a business. Hey, go start a business. And I want you boys to do that too. Um, it's a lot of risk. That's why I'm taking as much risk now. So it'll be not as much risk for you boys, but it will still be risk. Starting a business isn't easy. So I'm going to put the full metal onto this and keep on going all the way. A todo dar. So, but yeah, I, I'm excited. So at least uh, I'll get income throughout the night. And then I'll do, I'll go to Planet Fitness, take a shower after 12 in the morning where am i at i think i go straight yeah no let me see here yeah yeah go straight i think old temple takes me yeah yeah i gotta go straight but uh a todo dar. i'm ready boys i'm so ready for this it's gonna be exciting and uh I'm ready. Even if I go to jail, because I went twice already to Raina's house, and she called the police, and I got a meeting with my lawyer tomorrow, and he's not happy, so I don't know if that's because of money or that this case, it went from he might take my name away, where it's a good thing, like, take it away from this case, or now I got two more strikes on me, and... I don't know if I might have some jail time, whatever, or I don't know, but I don't care. Nothing's stopping me. I do my time. I know what I'm doing. I got you guys to live for. And I'm ready for it. I feel a little better now. I like talking to you boys because even though you're not here, I have a good mind that I'm imagining you guys listening to this at a later date, and that brings me joy. So you guys get your own phones hopefully uh Ma will let you and the phone is not good but it's very very useful so please be wise with it you can find a lot of good things with the phone but they can really take away your sanity as well you can find pornography you can find addictive games you can find addictive social media things all these different things that are available to you on the phone and again it's a free world but have that self-restraint and you will do good because with the phone you can find out information you can learn about history you can learn about so many different things that will make you powerful learn about strategies how to grow your business how to fix a car there's so many good things that that the phone can do and use that instead of wasting your time with it so um but yeah hopefully mom will give you the phone 
I will trust you boys. I always trust you. So if I had the choice, I'll give you guys a phone at a young age because I, I, I believe in you boys. So hopefully she believes in you as much as I do. So she gives you a phone and you can use it for good things and also watch videos on YouTube that I'm putting on so you guys can uh, see your father. So, but I just arrived at Dollar General. Gonna do another DoorDash. And uh, don't ever be a victim. So many people, I was talking to your grandfather, abuelo, he never trusted me. And I can be sad about it, but no. Don't be a victim. Let me turn this off. Don't be a victim. You always have people underestimate. You always have people that think of you as lower. I'm good. Doesn't matter what the society thinks of me. Fuck them. Remember that? Fuck them. Because you know what you can do. You know what you're capable of. Though. But don't ever make yourself a victim. Oh, man. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, you know, I'm so worthless. No. You're powerful. I believe in you, boys. You guys can do it. Be smart about the your your moves. So, but, uh, yeah. Like you said, that, that helps me a lot. You know, people look at DoorDash as stupid. I use this as an opportunity for investment capital for my Raina Clothier. So, it ain't stupid. It's smart. I have freedom. I know how to use my time instead of being trapped in a W-2 job. W-2 is basically you're an employee for XYZ company. So I'll teach you so much more about the business of it, boys, because that's freedom. That's true freedom. So I'll talk to you soon and see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, boys. It's Dad again. Or uh, William may have called me when he was little. Papi. Or I guess all you guys called me Papi at one point, but... Isaac and Benny call me more dad. A little bit William. I'm trying to remember him saying dad. But uh, I'm going to talk about the, uh, uh, what is it? The uh, lesson of the day I'm going to start. So I'm done. Something really cool just happened right now. So uh, before I get to the lesson of the day, I want to tell you guys that uh, I want to try my new routine, which was, um, uh, let me see, I don't know if I can go that far, Ugh. so yeah, I'm trying to get back to Planet Fitness, but, uh, let me turn on this light so you guys can see me, there you go, there you go, guess I had to make a couple U-turns, there's Franklin, so I gotta turn, but, uh, make a long u-turn but i digress i want to tell you about uh yeah my new routine is so cool uh so it's really similar to or i, I want to mimic what i'm planning on doing in about a week with Raina clothier i want to work from eight to three or eight to four more or less and then from 3 all the way to 12 a.m. I never worked at DoorDash after like 10. Sometimes like 11 if I really tried it, but definitely not till 12 and rarely at 11. So, and mostly to like 9, 9.30 for the longest time now. So I want to try it, see how it does. It's on a Monday here. So I want to see, normally Mondays are slow, so it's a good, indicator if it does good on monday most likely it does good on, on the other days and uh i made 177 dollars and 150 is perfect but then i didn't stop or i didn't start at three i started earlier because i this plan came to me throughout the evening uh, to go throughout you know at 12 and um so i'm trying to minus like you know almost 30 bucks that will still hit to 150 ish because it's about like 10 to 15 bucks an hour basically i'm at i average and 
So yeah, if I take away three hours, so from like 12, I think I started around 12 or something. So 12 to three. So it is good. I'm like, wow, instead of being a hundred or barely a hundred, I did, uh, you know, I can anticipate 150. So it was really cool. I was excited about that. And that can, you know, won't distract me from the long hours of rain and clothes here so I can focus because, oh, I'm going to focus a lot. I'm tired right now. I didn't realize, like, I can imagine just, I might do that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the lazy bug is getting to me. I can just imagine just going to the parking lot and just close my eyes. But I won't feel comfortable. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I need to get coffee in me. Not right now. It's too late. But throughout the day, I got to drink coffee. Coffee helps, boys. Uh, they may say it's bad for you. The sugar, so just drink it with honey. Black coffee and honey, oh, it tastes so good. And if you really like the bitterness of it or the boldness of it, uh, straight black coffee is the best. But it's too strong for me, so I like to put honey in. Oh, it tastes so good with honey. And it's healthy, healthy honey. But yeah, uh, there's so many vices in the world. Having caffeine from coffee is not a bad vice. It's actually a good vice to have. So there's a saying that my grandpa said, my mother's father, he, he said, uh, there's so many vices in the world, so pick one. Pick, this, <laughs> I said it totally wrong. There are so many vices in the world, pick one good ones and he says for him was tools he chose a lot of tools mine were ties I can buy a million ties I can't stop myself sometimes but it's a good advice I'm not hurting anyone buying ties he's not hurting anyone by buying tools so uh, so I'll repeat that saying to you guys there are many vices in the world so choose good ones but the lesson of the day is don't change for anyone but God. I'll repeat it. Don't change for anyone but God. And I wrote this a while ago. And then I had other lessons of the day. That's the farthest. But I deleted the ones even farthest out of that one. And the reason why I deleted it because I already spoke about it on either Spotify, the Ryan Eagles World podcast or Raina Clothier. And I want to say I was doing it on Spotify and not Raina Clothier, but Ryan Eagles World and YouTube. So it's both named Ryan Eagles World, but on Spotify is a podcast, the, the just the voice and the video. And of course the voice is on YouTube of Ryan Eagles World. So, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, and so yeah there are many more but um, I didn't get to all these other ones and there's a lot more so and that's what I'm going to continue with today which is uh, don't change for anyone but God I think I'm iffy on that now because uh, you know I'm learning more about our church is is that's a tough one right now because you know God will help you to be a better person but uh, you know I take that back that is a good saying because there's so many people are trying to trying to wanting to change you even your spouse when you get older Sometimes good, but a lot of times not good. If you're a good man, if you have good virtues and good values, you shouldn't change those. No matter 
matter how much she wants it, that is good for the family. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I can just feel it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the first time staying out this late. But yeah, I'm just tired. I think I'm just gonna wipe my face and go to bed. I gotta buy baby wipes. Those are great. I don't have, so I just have to get water right now on a napkin, but uh, sometimes they burn my eyes of the sweat and when I yawn at night with the tears, it gets kind of in my eyes and it burns, so I never like going to sleep with, uh, with now cleaning at least the edge of my eyes, but yeah, boys, like, stay strong in what you believe. Mom is going to help you to make you understand or help you understand your values and yes God is good you know like I, I don't deny God but I just think so many people are confused with what God is and you should not follow them even in the Catholic Church because there's so many hypocrites in every church not just the Catholic Church everywhere because we're just flawed so who do you trust only can't trust family that sucks because family is supposed to trust but they're the worst if you look at the statistics there's so much abuse within family whether it's sexual verbal or physical there's always abuse and we're supposed to be the loved ones and then there's even more abuse of the subtle abuse over the years manipulation What's the other word? Um, you sabotage one another. You mess with the other. You envy. You're jealous. You make coups, which are like basically a punch where you make a, a strategy to make them look bad or put them in a bad position or talk bad about them, gossip. All that within family. So fucked up. And again, I'll cuss every once in a while. I don't cuss a lot, but when I do, I mean it. So I want to be real with you boys. And it's just crazy. It's all messed up. And so, yeah, all these. So when you meet a woman, she says she has a family, you know, very close to the church. Gotta watch out for that because if that's all they know, they're gonna lose very easily once they experience something else. I believe your mom's like that. She lost her faith. She's so strung up on it that you don't know what it is when true love is hitting you in the face. And you're so scared to try anything new for the better to help your family to take risks for your family you don't do because you're scared you don't know what else to do other than being a slave to this religion so it just sucks so that's why I just be careful when girls say oh I'm close to my faith all this stuff it means nothing real life hits you, you fall. I want you boys to be strong. When real life hits you like it hit me, I talk to God. I don't need to show off and go to church or go to mass and say hi to everyone and make it look like I have faith and, and say these prayers. No. I put in the work. I do the work. I show God that I am his good servant. And that's what we are. We're servants. But we get mixed up between being a servant of God and being a servant of the institution. So be careful with that, boys. Because they may make you think that they're God themselves. So they want you to change for that. Bullshit. I've met many men and women who have their own agenda. And they cover it up with Catholicism or with Christianity but they're really just changing you from their own 
opinion. So it's crazy, but that's how it is. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, who knows? I might drive back over there to take a shower. But I'm just tired, man. This is probably like my weekend. Like, like eh, I'll take a break. It's the weekend. But it's Monday. <laughs> I gotta shave. But yeah, uh, it's... Just watch out. Like I said, it's good to change for God. But true God, not anyone else. Again, women. Gotta be careful with women, boys. I'll say that forever. Because women are very, very powerful. And the reason why they're powerful is because they do it so subtly. They are they are always an underdog. People always think that they're not powerful because they're women. And to the contrary, they are very powerful. At some point, and, or somehow, they make it a point to even take full advantage of it because they were put under the rug from many times so they're they're coming back with the vengeance yeah it's crazy I did find out today that your mom did not do the child support or do not file it it was filed automatically because she was doing like Medicaid or like looking for insurance and that's all I'm okay with but it was different that as if she wanted it because when a woman wants child support that means they want a divorce and well I'm trying to save her or save our marriage boys but I don't know it's all up to your mom I try to do that strategy to make her do the opposite and come back to me, but she was easily convinced that, hey, it's an opportunity. He's saying he might go. Of course not. I'll never go. I'm always here for you, boys. I'm always here for my wife, for your mother. But your, her siblings took full advantage of it. So, okay. And the reason why I know that is because her sister Isela wrote to me and she said now that you made your decision um, don't change it and she said if, because if you come back and you don't want to change you give them hope <sighs> and I should actually thank her because it made it more clear to me I'm like wow like, it's, what a cruel thing to say I don't know if she even realized what she just said like that's what's supposed to be I'm their father I give them hope she's correct but her mindset is no go away and again I did that as a strategy to say, okay, we're naturally rebellious. So instead of me saying uh, the opposite, I'll, I'll say the thing that I don't want, which is uh, the divorce. And they would respond saying, no, 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 we want to work with you. But again, that's a good strategy to have, boys, because you will see what the opposition will come. It's a good strategy to have. But it's just sad because you would take a risk of seeing the truth. <laughs> but I can't get sad. I just see how they played that hand. I'm getting tired. I'm going to get the blanket real quick. Um, yeah, boys. Like I said, just, you're going to learn a lot about cruelty within your own family. And I, I want to be there for you, boys. Even as little as these videos. I'm going to tell you everything I know. So you guys can be successful in brothers. Because even brothers can hurt each other. And I want you guys to not do that. So. I'll talk more about it. But yeah that's the lesson of the day. Is uh. Only change for God. No one else. You guys are confident in what you do. Be confident in what you do. If you're not. And 
I always, I always believe in you boys. You're strong, you're confident, and don't ever feel that you're a victim or that you cannot do anything. There's always a way. And not just you, again, there's strategies where you can have other people work for you. So, and use those talents. All right, good night. I'm going to bed. Wish me luck. Good night, boys.